TikTok. Let's talk about TikTok. Jason, it seems as though the coalition is sort of saying maybe if the US does this, we should ban it too. What do you think? Yeah. Look, I, I think it's absolutely something that we should look at. And I mean, a, on a broader subject, Tom, not just talking about TikTok, but eminent scholars like Jonathan Haidt and a whole bunch of people behind him are linking um, the use of social media by teens and preteens to the decline in mental health among those age cohorts. Um, I, I think there's a broader discussion. I don't that think that surprise people. That goes beyond TikTok, doesn't it? I mean, what do we do there? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Banned, isn't that that becomes sort of parental responsibility and school responsibility, but beyond that, well, know. I think I, I think, um, and I and I know that that Pat and I and I I, I suspect you would be too. Um, uh, Tom, and who knows, we might even get Chris Minns on this unity ticket if we're, we're not careful, um, would um, say that we've really got to empower parents um, somehow through legislation to um, give them more power over use of social media by children. Um, and it's and I'm not just saying this because I'm being, you know, because I'm old and it was much better in my day. True. I'm saying this yeah. because... You know, the, 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 the research on this is incredibly compelling around mental health problems that teens are suffering right now as we speak. But how do you legislate that? I mean, you know, TV came along. People said it would probably be bad for children's brains. It probably still is. A lot of stuff on screen time. But how do you, how do you legislate? For that. Well, it's, well, I mean, um, going to the book, uh, I forgot who wrote it, but um, Bowling Alone, um, uh, Pat will know who wrote that, um, you know, they made that point also that television had a negative impact on socialisation in communities. And we, we know that it has. And social media was kind of mm. meant to reverse that. Instead, what it did was it allowed people to be... And it, and it might even be little things like you can't go on social media and be anonymous. So we do know that on Facebook okay. where well, people okay, are okay. Not, well, that you know, gets, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, I get what you mean around legislation. We're nearly out of time, Slash, you're already over and Sorry. I'm in trouble. Pat, your thoughts briefly on this? Uh, well, firstly, I, look, I do agree with Jason that we need to be really vigilant about the impacts uh, on all members of society when it comes to social media. Uh, that, you know, once you dive down the internet tube, um, there is a lot of uh, wild, unregulated content um, people asserting that they are experts in the areas that they indeed are not. Uh, I do share those concerns about the impacts on what it means okay. for young people and their mental health. Uh, I back parents to make those decisions and I'd encourage parents, you know, to always be having All a right. conversation with their children about what they're seeing on social media. And when it comes to your broader question, Tom, which is what you want me to get to, which is around uh, the um, existence of TikTok here in Australia, uh, we'll continue to take mm. advice um, from our security agencies We'll monitor what's happening in the United States. Uh, if the security agencies give us advice that we need to act upon, we will do that. All right. I, I imagine you probably you like those sort of small, trendy videos. You've got your memes going and so on, Patrick Gorman. It's uh, your it's office very good. would be devastated if TikTok went. Only, only like when him. I post right. this program, Tom. Only when I post <laughs> this program. He's very, There's a challenge Tom, you, you and I make could us learn look a lot. good. <laughs> He does. Uh, he does. And it's a difficult I, I thing in my every case. every week on this program, <laughs> including what you told me about two years ago. Jason, Patrick, talk next week. Thank you.